What's up guys? Welcome to another amazing amazing episode of the Kiss Capades podcast. I have a very lovely guest with me today and I'll just let her introduce herself and then, you know, you know the drill. And then we can get to, you know, what we need to get to. <laughs> so tell the people your name and what you do. What's up? What's up everyone? This is Eva. Mm-hmm. You can call me Pickles. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I'm a student currently studying sport management in Nelson Mandela University. Sport management? Yes. What? Yeah. And like for sport pesa or sports sports? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, like sorry. Sports, sports. I'll finish your intro. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's totally fine. That's how life goes, man. That's how life is. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I'm also a YouTuber. Mm-hmm part-time i only started taking it seriously recently and i'm totally loving it so hopefully i can start making money from it you will one day yeah i mean it's the future it's the future whether these uh organizations and you know these people the gatekeepers want it or not we are coming <laughs> these gatekeepers that everyone always talks about i'm yet to reach those gates i oh, come on the <laughs> gates are there you just need to bomb all the gates when yeah. you get there it's kind of hard, especially for content creators in Kenya, to find their lane or monetize what they're doing or just, I mean, I don't know about your experience, but we'll get, we'll get to the YouTube part. Yeah. All right, all right. But, all right. you know, as I was saying, uh, you said this is your first time doing... Uh, An interview whatsoever. Really? Yeah. Um, I've done one radio interview before, but it was for school. It was... Mandela Mandela Radio. So, uh-huh. was it yeah. good? Is it pro- as professional as this one? I hope. Um, yeah, I think your setup's really dope, man. Like, yeah, <laughs> you hear that, guys? Yeah, mm-hmm. I was even asking you questions about what this is, learning mm-hmm. from you. So, yeah, mm-hmm. I think yeah, I think yours is cooler though because you're out in the open. Mm-hmm. That one, I was in a studio, so you're like. Confined. Confined. Here you feel exactly. more relaxed. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I know, right? I'm comfortable. Yeah. Exactly, I and I think that. that's what I was going for when I was picking a spot. Because the whole idea is that I had bo- bought like podcast gear, mm-hmm. and then now I was like, okay, now I need to start shooting. I can't invite people to my house. Yeah. How do I invite? Yeah, yeah, especially somebody you reached out to and you want to invite them like the exact same day they're like come yeah. on man. and i would have found it weird if you told me to come to your house <laughs> okay. i'd be like um hey listen you don't even need to tell me i already know i already know <laughs> yeah, i asked uh rubadiri the same question yeah. he was like why did you pick at cafe mm. why did you pick a restaurant i was like yeah, if i invited you to shoot a podcast at my house what would be your response you'd be like oh, what yeah this guy yeah. is trying to have I, ulterior motives exactly yeah. exactly so you just make sure everybody you don't even need people to feel that kind of energy just make sure people are comfortable yeah so before we go to the youtube thing mm-hmm. um let's talk about that thing you said you're doing sport sport management that's sports sports yeah like sport actual sport like netball football Ma, basketball. you know yeah. that's crazy because yeah. i do not know anyone who does that really <laughs> and funny thing mm-hmm. is i was talking to someone yesterday and i was telling them about how uh I shot a documentary last year for long distance runners in Iten. Okay. Cool. And uh, uh, most of these runners like have managers from overseas and stuff. Like there are not so many. Okay, they Who exploit them. I should add that. Oh, of course. Yeah, which is one of the main reasons I'm studying what I'm studying. Hey, listen. Yeah, people are being our athletes are being exploited too much, and especially at, from a very young age. Yeah. And they're very good at what they do, but because there's no one mentoring them or advising them that things could go wrong. Yeah. Things go wrong. I mean, look at Rudisha, for example. Um, what happened to Rudisha? He's Rudisha? currently an alcoholic. Ah, oh, come yeah. on, you're lying. Yeah, man. and it doesn't make sense to me that somebody who was taking our country so far, nobody was there for him. It doesn't make sense. Man. Yeah. And the only problem is like when they get to that point, we tend to, like we do talk about it, but there's nobody we actually doing something. We talk about it with Ubaya. We don't talk about it Are trying to talking about help. Rudisha, the guy David was doing... Rudisha. He's the one who was like the 800 champ, right? Yeah, yes, yes. And yes. what happened and to Diego? And he was like 19 when he had first won. He was like 19 ah, years man. old, yeah. Diego, Acha Siozi Kwambia, I really don't know. And that's that's my point. Why don't we know? These people, are, they should be heroes. They should be heroes. It's crazy because yeah. I was in Iten and I'm telling you, like, I was, I was telling somebody this as well on my podcast. 
I was shown a lady who has like a tea shop, like a small kiosk and stuff. I can't remember her name. Um, but I was told she blew, I think, two or one million dollars in Eldoret. Not even in Nairobi or Mombasa. On what though is the, is the biggest question? Like that's, on people. First of all, that's, but regardless, a million dollars? Yeah. I mean, even in How Nairobi, much are million my, Kenyan shillings my, or what? yes, yeah? like my oh. friends would actually have to die with crazy overdoses. Yeah. First of all, if I'm sp <laughs> blowing like a million dollars, oh I swear, I'm just saying, cause. But also, how what do type you? of friends are you that you're let you're watching me blow that? Why but didn't you stop me? It doesn't even make any <laughs> sense. But actually, I've been. Sh I was shown so many people who like mm. used to win like those uh, New York marathons. Mm. Uh, where else? Monaco, yeah. Paris, These all those ones, things. Yeah. Exactly. And see, there's no uh, one to guide them. Afterwards. You see them, you're like, there's no way this guy won that yeah. amount. You're saying he did not cross that it finish actually line. It makes me very sad. It, it makes, is. It, it makes me anxious. Uh, but yeah. you know, but you see, that's <laughs> why I'm talking about like yeah. the new generation is just making like really special and calculated moves. That even when we're talking about gatekeepers, I'm saying that because like there are people in those positions, the sport industry, that they included, should, yeah. yeah, that they should be taking that. That's their responsibility. Yeah, I'm sure there are people who are paid for that job, but they're not. Because yeah. actually, if you speak about it like that, uh, from my experience in South Africa now, and if I compare the way the system is, the sports system, mm -hmm. eh, sh, we're so far. Eh, we're not. We're not even doing anything. What? Yeah, the really. way the system is, yeah. yeah, the way we make sure um, South Africans make sure that you will know this child is talented from age six and then they'll nurture that, the school will nurture that, the system, the way the system is, will nurture it. Us, Paying attention yeah, to that. Yeah, pay attention, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, now here you have to take yourself or get noticed by someone abroad before mm -hmm. Kenya even takes you seriously. Someone abroad has to notice you, like why? I've Doesn't been saying that I've been saying that all along and people keep asking me like you really don't like your country I'm like no but the thing That's is the truth you might like it but just all the people in those positions make it so hard for mm. people to like even just be out there saying like you know I proudly want to to yeah. do this in my country I proudly want to do this they're exploiting their power exploiting but it's just like a whole nationwide thing because even uh, if we, we don't, we, let's not even get, we'll go, get to content creation and then <laughs> we'll talk about more exploitation. Yeah, wow. But what made you specifically get into that? Because of course the Rudisha incident, it has to have been recently. Yeah, but recent. what made you, mm. or that was like just to a childhood honest, dream. Yeah. No, actually when I was a child I wanted to be an acrobat, Yeah. then a detective. <laughs> Then wow. a lawyer, yeah. So okay. it was so far from this. I just um, like so you wanted to be superwoman, yeah, basically. basically. That's what you're saying. Do it all, yeah. <laughs> do it all. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, um, I was always good at sports. I always played like every. I was in every sports team. Uh -huh. But then it came to a point in life I realized I'm not good enough to be a professional, but I still want to be in this industry for sure. Mm -hmm. And then my parents are very business business minded type of people. Yeah. So they raised me in a very business mindset. So when I was able to combine the sport industry and the business industry and make it one, and I found a course that I can do that, mm. I went all in for it. Because we yeah. don't have those courses in Kenya, do yeah, we? Yeah, I'm hearing um, that there's at KU, there's, they have sport management now. I'm mm. not sure, I'd have to confirm that. But, and also I think Chuka University, I'm not sure. What's Chuka University? Yo, it's, it's in, in the Athi, yeah, it's the sides of Athi River. My un my it's an uncle, actual... Yeah, my uncle actually was a dean, dean of English there, so that's uh, why I My apologies <laughs> if I don't know about it, it's just because, you know... Chuka. Nowadays we do have like also so many other institutions yeah, coming yeah, up. Yeah. I totally understand. I don't expect you to know everything. Of course, of course, that's the thing. Just focus on what your interest is at times. Yeah. Sadly, mm -hmm. that's what we do in life. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because you can't really pay attention to everyone, what yeah. everyone is doing. You, you just focus on what really. you're doing. If you want to be good at what you're doing, of course, you'll give you your thing like 100 to 70, 90 percent there. Yeah. So, uh, how long does the course take or... 
how is it like just studying that um it's a three year um, I, can't, i can't imagine even like what what you study yeah what uh, what do you okay, study i can tell you that but yeah. it's, okay first of all it's three years it's uh-huh. firstly a diploma mm-hmm. and then you do a fourth year to turn that diploma into a btech mm-hmm. yeah and then you can go on to honors if you want and masters which i do intend on doing mm-hmm. um so basically what we learn about is just there's modules like marketing public relations and then there's there's um sport management practice which um requires you to work in a sport industry and get a certain amount of hours so you're graded for that mm-hmm. and also you have to play in a team and you play coach. sport yeah you have to play a sport so mm-hmm. i currently play in netball for mm. the madiba's team mm-hmm. and madiba's is my school now in a say right name. yeah mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. the madibas mm-hmm. so yeah um your coach grades you so that you playing that spot is also like a module as well so your coach grades you for that mm-hmm. and this year we have sport psychology which i'm very excited for yeah and event 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 development mm-hmm. yeah so we learn how to throw sports events as mm-hmm. well Mm-hmm. Yeah so that's what I'm excited for this year. Uh, it's un- it's very unfortunate <laughs> sport fest I was close in Kenya. You would have come back here with a bang. No nah, but my interest is more in terms <laughs> of the youth. No 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 no, no. Build, Listen, hold on hold on like, hold tell on. Me, tell me Cause add value to as me. much as there was gambling of course right mm-hmm. it used to like sponsor all the other like yeah. you know other Academies youth and yeah. stuff because that's what I'm interested exactly. in. Exactly. And, and they had that funding. Yeah and the funding because you know like in Kenya it's not like the government will come in and start fund That's now where I was saying if you compare with SA in Kenya you will be so surprised exactly. because SA the, the the budget they have for the for sports from Crazy. the government is a lot mm-hmm. and they use it yo know, and you can see they won the World Cup man they just won the World Cup Rugby World Cup Yeah and you know actually yeah. Kenyans used to beat SA like yeah. all the time all the time Look we don't we now. don't take it seriously. Hey, didn't For, you hear like the rugby guys who were locked out like I don't know where no? they slept somewhere. Oh ah, yeah, yeah yeah. You know such things make me want to cry. Yeah, like, it happens. Actually make me that, want to cry. I think the volleyball team as yeah. well. It's always constantly I heard about our, another team that was in SA and CG, yeah their hotel rooms or something was yep. yeah something was messed up about their hotel rooms mm-hmm. and it just makes me wonder like what type of lack of respect is that? That's complete utter lack of respect. Yeah. Cuz Unaniambia mimi nakuja ku represent my country yeah. <laughs> my country imagine my country lakini ya wanioni like and even how does it look to them there they just think i hey, in kenya people are just struggling it But makes no sense to them they're like we always see these guys winning all the sports how yeah. can they like their hotels at least because in fact this is a sport mm. the one thing you need after playing is to is relax, to relax. Yeah. so i'm guessing like even and like masuz are not even oh, there yeah. and that's very important mm. to get massaged after like of course your but that's the thing like if you ever get time like i would just advise you when you're coming back like mm-hmm. to because you're flying out when on the 20th 20th of this month yeah. oh, okay so i don't say which month we're in because this episode might air <laughs> very later on <laughs> but on the 20th I'll, of I'll, something <laughs> yeah i'll pick i'll pick the right you know month <laughs> to drop it Okay, that's where your editing comes in. I'm not editing anything out. Oh wow. Yeah, that's why when we're having conversations, I want conversations just to be topics and timeless yeah. conversations. Okay. So that I even if that. somebody bumps into this video a year from now, they can still watch it. Yeah. You bump into it, you're like, "Oh, I was still smart when I was talking about <laughs> this." You know, you can actually reflect. Somebody yeah. can just get info because it's not yeah. current current. I get you. Info current like uh discussions for yeah. mainstream media thing is but just general just information life. exactly just, just living if you get time when you're coming back mm-hmm. just go to somewhere like Eton okay i'll check it out you will be impressed and that's like where majority of our runners even yes. come from yeah is that where Kip, um, kipchoge is from as well yeah. like these i think like is it fridays or saturdays i think they do it twice or thrice a week mm-hmm. they just wake up in the morning they meet like at a certain corner i don't remember where And, then and it's a run. group like of like a hundred people who just jog, and I'm they're just sure jogging for fun. They're just jogging the for Ineos fun. I saw that in the Ineos documentary. I think they did it in the documentary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think I saw them doing that. The documentary I shot mm-hmm. was from was for a Saudi Arabia guy. Wow, and <laughs> which what? is going for Netflix. Wow, what what is it for? Like to show to showcase what we do? Or? He he was like uh, he started uh, a hobby of like just 
running marathons. Mm-hmm. He was trying to do like I think is it 12 or 20 I think like 12 in a year. Okay. So he was going to wow. different countries like okay. Ethiopia documenting his stay there, interacting with the runners, different country Japan interacting with different runners just to see how everyone like just and how does everything. things could even work together yeah? exactly and i'm assuming in each country he's getting a producer and a that's exactly also very good for the, our economy exactly <laughs> yeah. exactly so i was just like i was so yeah. intrigued but i was just like man this is not happening like why i've never seen a kenyan do, do like this? a why they interested yeah. yeah and those guys are just there like they're there, like they're accessible, like you know, mm-hmm. you can go there like on a they Thursday, tell them like your guys, they they're would humble, never. Yeah. But you'd never see like, you yeah. know, even vloggers interacting with runners, come on. We need we need to start yeah. appreciating Thank our heroes. Thank you for heroes. that idea. Yeah. I'm hey, ju- listen. I'm just. <laughs> yeah, that's an idea. And you know yeah. what? Catch any of the marathons. Mm-hmm. That's like even like a school project. Yeah. Any of the marathons. Because I remember there are some guys we were talking to in Eldoret and they were saying like the only reason they can't make it to Nairobi for the marathons mm. is because they have to pay like 2k like what is to this the standard chartered ones and what are those ones yeah, yeah they're saying you know we have to pay there like this to be partic- like a, if you're already a runner for our country you're it's automatically in or I something was, yeah like it was heartbreaking like they're saying that mm. and then you're thinking man like this guy can actually if he could afford the 2g's he would have he, gone he yeah. might come win and take home like mm. one point something and give back that to Jesus and give yeah, back that to, or exactly. even like yeah, just give them back, credit yeah. to come and run like they're just saying like simple things like we just need a yeah, room credit, to come. yeah like we're not saying be free but if yeah because at most yeah, yeah and it's the least you can do like just tell them like okay so i'll give you credit come sleep go run and if you do well i mean you can still yeah. all pay it pole pole but, but yeah. most guys couldn't even afford to come and run don't in worry your though. own let country. Let me finish school. Let me finish. And Let's listen, and she was asking yeah. me like, <laughs> what made you invite me to the oh, podcast? Yeah. I asked him how he found me. Because hey, you're curious. the only sport manager <laughs> that I know in the country. You didn't know that beforehand. <laughs> I actually though. didn't know. Yeah. But you've mentioned that and I was like, fuck. <laughs> this is so interesting because somebody who's young and they have that mindset. But I think I saw, uh, I do like fish out a lot of like untapped people who are like uh, online and just doing their own thing yeah i'm glad you did they're not going with the wave and even like for you it's not even like about because you can notice like if you see a lot of my episodes it's not faces that you've seen a lot on mainstream yeah yeah, yeah. it's very different people because they do have things going on this yeah they're just chilled like i would have never found out about the shoe the kenyan shoe line um enda yenda sports yeah, yeah. yeah. i would have never mm. found that out that for you yeah so Can you definitely imagine? yeah definitely you hear that <laughs> you hear that but it's just crazy because all these things are there but we focus on like mm. maybe the most mainstream people who like are not even ready to share information yeah, anyway we're forcing them yeah and it ends up being a whole fight <sighs> plus it's the same story agree. over and over yeah. again so it's nothing unique I think yeah. that's my next guest, but you know, it's all good. We okay. have a whole hour too. Yeah. <laughs> she does yoga, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, yeah, okay. That's her I'm expertise. I'm definitely going to watch that one. I'm st- currently starting yoga. Yeah. What? Yeah. Look but how everything is falling into <laughs> place. <laughs> but uh, I'm definitely a beginner. Mm-hmm. The beginner is Oh, no, but beginners. I think even yeah. like with tutorials and, and meditation, uh, of course. Is meditation life. and sports. They go hand Come in hand, yeah. yeah. And yoga. And yoga, yoga technically is meditation because mm-hmm. when you pause in each position you yeah. you're just sitting there thinking you're not really breathing doing anything. exercises yeah, you're just breathing yeah so and maybe it might be part of like even your school thing in somewhere in the yeah something about calisthenics or something like that i don't what know the hell yeah. is that even I'm also going to learn this year. That's, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. We're dropping big names from what we've specialized in. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. I can't think of anything right now. Wow. I've too tried. much pressure. I've tried just there's to drop type, something. I'm like, two oh. types of people. The ones who work well under pressure and uh, the ones who... No, I don't work. Pressure ain't well, Actually, I do. Because like I told you, I had like a deadline. Yeah, yeah. And my client was like, yo... Tomorrow is the last day we are making payments. So if you don't submit the video tomorrow, There's I'm not no sure. Payment. I was like, eh, tomorrow? 
I was like, I'm not sleeping. <laughs> I got it done. I got it done. Yeah, wow. So, good on you, good on you. Uh, where, where was I before we diverged? Now I've even forgotten. Uh, <laughs> what were we talking about? Uh, sports and... I have that effect on people. Like oh, me. Lord. <laughs> what were we talking about? How could I forget? You had mentioned how I was asking where you found me. Yeah, and I was telling yeah. you, like, uh, there's some two guys that I follow their podcast, Adam22 and... Uh, Vlad, they really do focus on uh, just trying to fish people online okay. that are very unique and doing something completely different. Not always running after people who are already like impressed doing all their things. Yeah, and I think I, I bumped into your either YouTube or Instagram and I just watched how you vlog and everything and I was like she's doing something different and she's just comfortable being herself. Like you don't, you're not under pressure to like yeah. just, you know, you're yeah, just yeah, walking, yeah, yeah. doing this, talking about going and doing this. And I was like, okay, let me just follow her for a while. And I was like, okay, so in fact, because I do save like the people that I'm going to invite, mm -hmm. whether in, in the country or outside. Okay. So I had already saved you like all my people I might interview. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah. That's actually really, really nice to, yeah. see, to hear. And when you said you were humbled that I watch... Your yeah. videos. I was like, bro, I'm humble. You yeah. messaged me right Aye. now. Aye. I'm, I'm wondering, am I? Am I? Am I? Am I sure? <laughs> Did I log into someone else's Instagram? <laughs> oh, no. What's happening with this weather oh, now? No. What's happening? Nah, but okay, let's life let's life. let's continue. I hope it's yeah. I hope it won't be as bad as. It's. Can't you tell from the clouds? Because I can't. I'm asking. I can. You. It's like it's gonna. I, okay, it's gonna be okay. Let's let's okay. just hope for that. All right. So, um, anything interesting that goes on with like in just a sport academy? In a, in like in my where I'm learning. Like where you're learning because oh, it's it okay. essay, and I'm guessing like there's just the curriculum and how other students are, and even for you, like I, how are you comfortable enough just to move to essay? Because rumor has it, rumor yes. has it, mm -hmm. Kenyans are not very. Welcome there. I don't think that's true, eh? And that's the thing. Yeah, so you I don't see, because what you true. read on Kenyans the news think, and I mean, social media would be. Yeah. South Africans think Kenyans are so cool. Like, really? oh my God. Yeah. And I'm, I want, I always tell them, you guys don't understand how Kenyans think you guys are so cool. Like, it's, South Africans yeah. are cool, though. Yeah, they are. But then it's because they've just westernized. <laughs> like even you saying, like, hey, yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. But it's because mm -hmm. they've westernized themselves to the uh, epitome of westernization. Mm. Yeah, I, I always tell everyone, like, I feel like South Africa is just a mini America in, in Africa. Mm. Even the products they use, you know, like how most of our products we import from UK, they import from America, majority of the things. Everything. Majority, yeah, mm -hmm. even their brands, majority of their brands are American brands. So it's like just a mini America. So that's what makes them Where Where cool. do you stay in Essie? Port Elizabeth. So I'm in Ushago. It's not like... Where is that? <laughs> I, I know Durban. I've been yeah. to... Is it Santon? Okay. Santon is yeah. Johannesburg. Yeah, that's where I've been like um, twice. So I'm like 12 hours from there. Drive or one hour, 40 minutes flight. A train? Uh, I've never taken a train. I don't even know. What? Like, no, no, I've never taken one there. I've taken a train in life. <laughs> Listen. No. I've never taken one The first one time... There. Because I think we oh, were... Oh, I've taken how train. Sorry. You have, yeah, right? Yeah, but the how train only travels in Hauteng, the province. Oh, I think like maybe the county, one... Like County, you know, so it's like Which a one train. goes to the airport? The how train. Oh, that's it then. That's I the think Houteng. that's the yeah. one I took. And I was just like, man, we're talking about it's SGR. fast. I was talking about SGR and I was like, that's some... Bruh, you know you're not allowed to chew gum in the how train? Like you're, you're not, not allowed to chew gum. Yeah, because you're so litter. Clean, yeah, you're not allowed all. to chew gum. It's written, no chewing gum. <laughs> and it was so comfortable. Yeah. And I was like, man, like if we only had this and in fast, Kenya. Eh? And super, super fast. fast. Yeah. Because yeah. we were looking at the time mm -hmm. and the time of the flight we, that's supposed to leave. And when I got in that train, I was like, I must There's never no use Uber yeah. again in this place. Because it was empty. There's no squeezing mm -hmm. or anything. On time, and even just the timing is perfect. Yeah, everything you is see, like the Kalitlu meaning, exactly. um, <laughs> and you know, like in Kenya, the most thing that like wastes our time is just traffic. Yeah, you wake up in the morning, you're supposed to be in town, which is like supposed to be like a 15 minute minutes, thing. Yeah, 15, mm -hmm. it's supposed to be like 15, mm -hmm. takes you three hours. Somebody who's taking a flight mm -hmm. is landing in Dubai, you're still in traffic <laughs> to a place where it's supposed to take 15 minutes. Oh, my what kind of transport system is that? Yeah. Man? 
include that in your sport management thing. If somebody needs to go jog somewhere, yeah. come back home. <laughs> hey, find a way. Maybe yeah. we can find a way to make us start using bicycles like uh, Netherlands. Maybe. Hey, but, but that won't work. Our in weather Kenya. also is our weather permitting. I don't know. We have like so, tropical. Think Actually, our yeah. weather is yeah. good. What am I even on about? It's just that road pavements drainage those basic things yeah. have not been put into consideration mm -hmm. even guys who jog they because most athletes do jog along mm -hmm. langata road very risky yeah because you're on the road yes yeah, yes it's crazy but yeah. you know we just make it work with and what we have i have a friend now that you mentioned that who did once tell me that they think nairobi you know like how i don't know if it's rome or which which place had to literally be broken down and be rebuilt yeah, i had a that, friend who was yeah. saying yeah hey nairobi it were better off breaking everything down and starting again. Like. Uh, what will we do after it? Because you know, rebuilding Nairobi will take like uh, you see the ha super highway. <laughs> ah yeah 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 the ten tenderpreneurs. Oh la 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 la. They'll be like, yeah, it can be done. And then ten <laughs> years us, later, give us twenty years. Um, we destroyed our whole uh, capital city. Yeah. Who's going to come to invest once yeah, if the capital yeah. city is not there? That's, big, That's just yeah. impossible. First of all, <laughs> and it's not okay. It's possible. But I don't think you it's a good idea. You'll find 50 years, maybe, us, since you're yeah, saying our it's generation. Us, yeah, it's us who, who might, are supposed to make these might, changes. Yeah, utilize our... Because if you think about it, like if just our transport system is efficient, everything else that will, will be smooth. That will all fall into place. Everything yeah. else. Because like you can say, I'm going Simple to a meeting logistics. in Westlands after this. Yeah. Go do another event, shoot. Afternoon, go and do. But at times you're being called yeah. in Westlands and you're like, you're like can I me. even make mm. it there? Like, let's plan for another day. And the only thing stopping you was literally the traffic. Yeah. You would have no problem, you find getting there. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's like crazy. actually a standstill for our economy. Okay, and like you'd think this super highway is the one that was coming 2020 yeah. to help us. Uh -huh. And yeah, it's actually worse because they didn't do the drainage properly. No, it's horrible. Causing more traffic. <laughs> uh, back to spots. Yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So, like, just. Uh, regress. Just from being in that field, what do you mm -hmm. think you can do different, like, like, or what plans? What next after like school? Where do you want to practice it, like in SA, where the systems are already working? Now, or do you want to come oh, back home and maybe now? I'd, on, I'd honestly stay there for a bit to learn. Or the like systems. how? Uh, yeah. But uh, there's no way I'm not coming back home mm, to use mm. those resources. I've never understood people who go abroad and then take your resources there you're leaving our country dry like it doesn't Amen. make any sense you know you know you have to deal with other demons when you're right yeah. here <laughs> you know people people want their cuts People, those taxes and yeah, everything it's not shame. easy but but now you see someone someone has to do it someone yeah, has to deal with yeah. it so yeah i intend on maybe coming back and i really really want to focus on students mm. i really think that because one of the things we learn about mm -hmm. is how how to use various uh, tools to reach the UN, UN Millennium Developmental Goals, yeah, the MDGs. Mm -hmm. So sport is one of those tools. And I honestly believe that using sport, you can increase education, you can increase the way people think, people's discipline, a lot, a lot. And I think if you start with a child and like nurture them to be that way then yeah that's that's why i really believe in sports academies and all of that have, have you are yeah. you guys taught things like um those scholarship things because like even in, in the sense? states How do you mean? in the states it's quite huge if somebody's like uh really good at uh like let's say american football mm -hmm. like immediately you just know like your college package is just yeah, secured yeah, yeah. like the government or that a certain institution takes care of it a hundred percent. Yeah, I currently have a friend who's mm -hmm. on a full ride. He he plays rugby. Yeah. He's, he's on a full ride. Stay, yeah. school fees. Everything. Shit. Everything. Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, so Everything. such things. And they looked for him. They they asked him to come to the school. Man, those yeah. and even that's where now like your parents like really do mm. respect even like yeah. what you do because they're like your yeah. bro. Kwanza university, Kumbana, university. You no. know how you've saved us. They're like, go, 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 go. Now that's how I knew that I'm, I, I'm not the one for sports like that. Oh, after that, <laughs> after that, <laughs> you're waiting for those calls. Yeah. <laughs> oh Lord, yeah. sorry. Because even this, even the Madiba's netball team I play for, mm -hmm. it's not at the A team. <laughs> yeah, but you do like yeah, just yeah, participate, yeah. kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, definitely. I, I do tell mm. people that at least I'm playing. Yeah, and <laughs> pair like fitness because you know yeah. after a certain age you'd rather have like just that routine used yeah. in your body so that you can now start jogging, yeah, yeah, you can yeah. any bounce back from Because there's so such many. a thing as muscle memory, you know, so mm. yeah, mm. It's, it's, it would be much And even much when easier. you get injured, I have like you're used to exercising and everything, like your you body heal just heals faster, heal faster yeah, and it's, everything. It's, a, it's an actual thing because your yeah. muscles and your fibers are thicker and stronger. Mm. I've seen yeah. people like just roll on like a small step PV and it takes like six months to heal. <laughs> and I have a friend who is actually a bodybuilder. Yeah. Hi Bunny, if you <laughs> ever watch this. He got shot three times. A what? And bra, he was sending us videos <laughs> while in the hospital because his muscles are so oh, strong. Oh, he's good, yeah. Yeah, they just stopped the bullet. <laughs> I'm like not even joking. Is this in um, SA? Yeah, well, no, here, in Kenya. here in Kenya, yeah. He's a bodybuilder for ah, world's strongest man. One, of, he's one of the. He, oh, yeah, one of those yeah, guys who yeah, nini? Yeah. Interesting. I was in high school with him. Yeah, Shit. Uh, bro, he like this. His body saved him. Being mm -hmm. fit saved him. Yeah, and yeah, because so, like yeah. you know the funny thing, because my podcast does. Uh, it's all about the four pillars of life: health, mm -hmm. wealth, love, and happiness. Yeah, I so you see, even the conversation that? like actually is evolving around mm -hmm. all yeah, those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you say sport, I was just like, this is perfect because health and mm -hmm. all those things. Mm -hmm. Is there a health kind of course included or topic of study in the sport management? Um, actually, mm -hmm. the faculty is health faculty. Mm. Yeah, so mm. health sciences faculty. So that's the faculty. It's hey. under. Look yeah. at that. Look so at yeah, that. like last time I had to learn anatomy, physiology, mm. all these things. We have to, we have to understand how the body works. I can't, mm. can you imagine a manager, <laughs> you get injured and then <laughs> Adri, how to Go explain back. to the doctor, oh, at the, oh, it's his leg. Mm. No, you need to say like the superior part of the, you know, like you need to be able to explain which part. You can break down, like even just by looking at him, you're like, okay, I think we need to check this, yeah, this. or exactly. even see an x ray yeah, yeah, yeah. and actually identify like exactly. where the problem is. You should is. be able to not, you shouldn't be standing there with the doctor blank because mm. it's not fair on the athlete because you could, just you wants could to even play. treat the wrong thing. Uh, yeah, it could be uh, a big mess. Yeah. yeah, which is one thing I'm sure has happened in, in the Kenyan, Kenyan athletes. Yeah. Oh, I'm Lord. so certain I can even bet money. Yeah. yeah. You know, Kenyans who do like they start doing was it like somebody who got like a was it brain surgery instead of okay, oh my god, I don't get the details wrong, yeah, but it was a surgery instead of another something, one? yeah, like they went to the brain instead of like just on the oh arm or something, it was just something goodness. crazy that made no sense yeah. at all. But just those two small, small things just shows somebody who knows what they're doing will make sure. And in fact, it will just make things easier. easier yeah. You're supposed to get or heal maybe in uh, a month. And you depending know, somebody's on the injury, obviously. depending, of course. But yeah, if it's just a small injury, yeah, give or take one or two months. Yeah, yeah at and most. So, and at, if somebody yeah. else is going through like a whole year. Yeah. And even those two small things, like, you know, uh, alco building into alcoholism. Mm -hmm. How do you treat that? Therapy, all those things that to, somebody yeah, too. Which is you like need I to said, understand. We have sport psychology this, ah, this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You okay. need to understand that. Because, yeah, your athlete can come to you depressed, but you don't know any of the cues. You can't tell he's depressed. And you're like, yo, you well, won. You've Rudy, been winning yeah. all along. What do you mean you're depressed? You? Yeah. What are you stressed with? Exactly. You're getting money, you're getting this, but somebody exactly. just needs, and maybe he just needed somebody to talk to. Yeah. And uh, he'd have been good. Yeah, and health, remember, includes mental health. So, yeah, it, it all comes in, comes into play perfectly. Oh, Lord, just yeah. continue talking as yeah. I answer this. <laughs> okay, let me ask you something. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. So I can um, <laughs> okay, what, what else can I ask in just terms of the, the sports school? Um, because I, I don't know what I can you ask. You had asked me what special or what unique goes on. Yeah, yeah, in the school. Currently, my school has this FIFA, um, it's a FIFA, I, I don't want to call it a course, but it's, it's like a year thing hmm. that FIFA hosts for um, lecturers and 
like people who are in my industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so they're currently doing it in my school. So yeah, FIFA is in my school <laughs> currently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you a fan of soccer? Yes, I'm a Chelsea fan. Shit. Yeah. I don't watch. I don't watch football at all. Wow, I've been a Chelsea fan since 11 years old. What? Yeah. <laughs> it's a bad influence in your family. <laughs> Actually, it was my it was my auntie's boyfriend. What? And since then, me and my brother have been Chelsea fans. Because for me, the only problem is, okay, yeah. I could have been, but mm -hmm. just with content creation, mm -hmm. I don't see myself sitting down. How long is football? 90 minutes? Yeah, it's a 90 minutes. Oh, Lord, I can't. And it could mm -hmm. be more, uh, depending on extra time. Now, you see. And as well as half time, there's 15 minutes. Who's going to edit my videos <laughs> when I'm just chilling there for 90 minutes? And then the way soccer is like, okay, you finish this tournament. Tomorrow, there's another one. There's Why another one. say that? Ah. What about cricket? You know, cricket, one game can even last a day i can't do that <laughs> shit so who watches who are the people who watch There's cricket people my, one of my uncles yo he'll sit there you'll be homeless he'll if you watch cricket because because how are you going to make money at what time do you work so you watch the highlights bassy yeah. okay uh, maybe highlights because for me i tell people the things sports that i can watch is ufc yeah because i know that's top 10 15 now minutes me, i watch those ones when it's a mainstream fight Ah, yeah, yeah. Those are the ones I'll go on. No, Everyone's like, oh, Pacquiao. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, yeah. when oh, I'll yeah, go. Yeah. But yeah. I won't, like, look for it myself. No, those I can watch. Because yeah. I just realized, okay, I do need a connection with sports. Mm. But I don't have that long, like, Nini, time. time like, because soccer, you know, like, even guys. athletics? <laughs> sprints. Ah. Quick, quick sprints. I would. But now, you know, us, we just wait till our Kenyan yeah. runners are there. That's when we watch. <laughs> do you watch the Olympics? Like I do, I do. For me, because I'm a fan, because you like watch. Thing, like yeah. Because it comes everything. after every five years, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's the only time you can see all these other yeah. sports that you never even Archery. like pay attention to. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and this synchronized yeah. swimming. Ooh, I love what Ooh, those one those of are my those two things that I actually life. like. Because you're just intrigued. You're like, hey, the human body can do so many things. Funny you say that. One yeah. of one of the synchronized swimmers in my school yeah. has been taken to the national team. So she's gonna be in the Olympics. Listen. Yeah, and I think she's like 21 I, years I old. I need that podcast something. episode. I need that <laughs> podcast episode. And funny thing is, I might actually come to SA later this year. Bra, come and let me know yeah, if you're willing to come to Shags. How far is? You said how far is? But there's no train going there. I don't know. Oh, that's, the that's flight. The main problem. You say um, the flight yeah, is. Yeah, it's a what? one hour, thirty minute flight. How much is a flight Joburg? from Joburg? Um, maybe a return flight would be like one thousand eight hundred rand. That's so how much it can you that by shillings? seven. That's like what? Seven times eight is 56. I listen. <laughs> Let's do that math. Me, I want to know the numbers. I try to I'm always talking numbers. I try so. to impress you guys. Mental <laughs> math. And oh, yeah. it's totally fair. So it's a, a thousand? <laughs> one eight. One eight uh -huh. uh, multiplied by seven. So 12, six. Return. Return flight. Ah, that I would do. That I'll do. Return flight from Joburg. From Joburg yeah. coming back, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, I don't mind yeah, that because yeah, yeah. I mean, for because uh, if you're there and you're going for an experience, mm. and, and I, I live by the people, beach, so uh, yeah, it's an ocean. It's it's an ocean. Can I fly a drone there? Yes. Gee. Yes, yes, yes. You can. There's no rules like that. My friend's a photographer and he has a drone. Nice, because sure. I I know like the best thing, mm -hmm. and I know a spot I out of the pier. I just yeah. keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> if that project picks up, yeah. you're doing it. You guys, watch this space. So now let's go to, because we've touched on sports. Mm -hmm. Let's jump on to YouTube. And then the okay. weather just keeps shape shifting. So guys, if you see the lighting going on and off, just bear with us. Life is going yeah, on Yeah, we just have to here. deal with what's happening. So mm -hmm. uh, YouTube, what made you get into like just YouTube? Is it an outlet mm -hmm. for you or just... So Do you want to be famous? What are you chasing you, on YouTube? Uh, everybody wants to be famous. Hey, <laughs> hey. Uh, but in reality, yeah. yo, when I was in high school, my friend and I, we used to watch like Nancy. Before even Nancy became, she used to post a lot. She used to only have the, 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 um, the blog. Mm -hmm. So we used to like even buy from her market. And then she started YouTube. And she never used to post a lot. Mm -hmm. But I used to watch like a lot of American people. So me was like, ah, even I can do this. Mm. Like, Kwani, why, why am not? I waiting for someone mm -hmm. and they're not posting and I'm waiting? Yeah. So I posted a video and then, yo, it like got a few views and everything. And then I moved to South Africa. Mm. So that video I'd done was with my dad's camera. 
Mm-hmm. Then the place I moved to didn't have Wi-Fi oh, and everything. Lord. Yeah, so it just stopped everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So fast forward three years later, now I'm back mm-hmm. onto it. Mm-hmm. And like I was I was chilling with my friends and one of them asked me, What have happened to your YouTube? And I was like and yeah, well, I don't even have a re- I don't have an answer for you. Yeah. Like nothing. I still wanna do it. And they were like the only thing stopping you is you. Yeah. So I was like, ah, okay. And now I tell everyone that literally and I actually, tell everyone the only thing stopping you it's is It's you. Because yeah. at times you're always like, Oh, I don't have this, I don't mm-hmm. have this and when you think about it like even a phone. There's people vlogging with their phone, bus, the editor on their phone. Yeah, everything. Before I got this editor that I have now, I was yeah. using Filmora on my phone, the free one. It was doing the things. That video actually got me some views also. So Until you started yeah. coming up with excuses. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you know, once you start with exactly. one excuse, you they never run with excuses. Yeah. It's always, ah, I can't and do it me, because... I'm a procrastinator already by nature. So mm-hmm. if I start adding more things... It's just going to be a whole other yeah, mess. You okay, now what's happening with this weather? Shh, I'm so oh, sorry. Lord. No, but we'll just go on. <laughs> Until it's just too bad. When we have, and I don't want to stop my, mm. okay, no. no but, we all, stop. but we are good, we are good. Mm. If we clock one hour, we are good. And so far, stop. what do you think about, do you ever get pressure for numbers on YouTube or what I keeps you motivated though? I definitely do. You do? I definitely like obviously wonder like, ah, this one I thought people would watch or, <laughs> or if one is watched more than another one, I'm yeah. like, what's different? What's the difference between this mm. one and that one? Mm. But I definitely don't let that pressure decide whether I'm going to post or not. Because mm. I do it for me. Yeah. mainly yeah i want to share my experience and if somebody one person sees it that's it's good totally enough. enough for me yeah because yeah, i'm literally sharing my experience that's about it there's nothing more i'm asking for so if you don't like it i'm sorry bye <laughs> and, learn, I'm and that should be the motivation because yeah. even like for me when i started like the podcast i was just like do people want to hear and then you know it there are those people who come to you like who's gonna listen to people talk for one hour two hours and then i'm like me uh, i do hello wa- i do i'm like i yeah. watch other people yeah. and people do want those yeah, connections exactly. and that's the funny thing exactly. once you start posting somebody gives you that one positive response and that's more than enough and you're like sour in fact if that's what i'm doing it for for the rest of my life exactly <laughs> like you're good you're good to go and yeah. pole pole exactly. you'll start just attracting exactly. people who wanna mm-hmm. come there for what you're doing yeah. Even for me, it was very frustrating, but you know. And then another thing that I really appreciate is how I've heard you use this word before about your work as well is the fulfillment. Fulfillment. When you see you've done something and you're the one who did it, mm. and what you wanted, your mm. image, your idea is out there in front of you, and mm. now you're just like, yes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I did that. It's yeah. just even when you <laughs> yeah. go and sleep. I remember when I was starting yeah. the podcast because I've tried other YouTube things and stuff, but mm-hmm. the podcast kept on refreshing man I refresh and then I'm like two Ooh, people that refreshing thing is painful right? like man <laughs> not even my farm Mazel, yeah. or my friends like, like these assholes brother, I'm you, like didn't you tell me you're watching this thing? Like, I, you're like what's the point you guys are not supporting me but they're just not used to that yeah. and you have to let people gradually yeah, gravitate yeah, 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 towards yeah. what you're doing and I totally understand that because I see that in my friends as well mm-hmm. you, you tell them to watch they'll be like okay I'll watch and okay, you keep, keep pushing keep it, going. you keep let pushing me, it, let okay, me cover no it problem. You keep pushing it, keep pushing it, and then you realize that they did watch, but they just didn't tell you, you know, like, sometimes we're pushing things and they don't want, <laughs> sometimes you're pushing things and they don't want to be pushed, they want to make the decision for themselves, basically. I don't, I, don't, I don't think if I'm making sense, but sometimes when you tell someone to do something, that's when they don't do it. So... I feel like sometimes I just need to let them be, let them watch, just keep sharing. They'll go and watch it themselves, in my opinion. They'll find it. They'll look into it. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> okay, I think we are good, guys. Yes. Sorry. Okay. I have to go cover the camera. He, like left me for a second i'm sorry i'm <laughs> no, sorry i'm totally back fine. i'm back i'm back it's totally fine but yeah, yeah i made i made my point i think mm-hmm. sometimes you have to let them go find it for themselves you can't you know like when someone tells you and wash and you are gonna go wash them but now you're like nah, fam, now i'm not gonna wash i'm them. not doing because you told me <laughs> yeah so maybe sometimes we tell them to go watch and they were gonna go watch and then you just you removed their psych yeah. mm, mm. so now i've realized let them do it you shouldn't ever pressure someone to appreciate you or to love you 
let them just do it on their own comfort yeah, just let them just do it because even if i force you and you go watch it it shows you just watched it because i told you you weren't even concentrating you're just watching thinking is she seeing me watching now is she seeing me watching oh, that thing of telling people please subscribe please subscribe yeah they can subscribe but they yeah. won't be watching yeah. so what's the point yeah 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 that thing for sub, sub for sub. I'm not doing yeah. that. I used to, when mm -mm. I first started, yo, I was there. I was You're like, doing that? Yes, no, when I first started, yeah, yeah. and people, I've n I would never ask it. Yeah. But when someone asks me, I'd do it. I'm like, yeah, yeah. But then I realize, I, half of these people will go and unsubscribe. They will unsubscribe, yeah. Or leave that. I'm subscribing something I'll never, You'll ever, never ever watch. watch. Yeah, I'm not interested in your in your whatever. What's this thing? Video games. Those guys who do those video games. Mm. Those, I don't yeah, know. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not interested in that. So, so you'll yeah, never be I'll there. I'll never ever see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what? What is the point? So I stopped. Yeah. I felt like it's it's like giving someone false hope. Just some false hope. It's, there it's for tricky. Them. Yeah. And have you ever thought of like you know what you'd want your channel to grow into? Maybe brand partnerships. Some of that. Because me, I'm just thinking like yo, listen. This sport thing, you have yeah. something going on there. Yeah. Because I haven't seen you vlog about anything to do with sport. Yeah. But a lot of people have asked me about the. F I fitness. am telling you. Mm. I'm telling you, there's something there. There's a lot. <laughs> I believe, yeah. There's a lot. I believe that you can't go out there putting out information for people, especially the public, if you're not well as well informed. What? You're already studying that. Yeah, that's my point. I felt like I, I was still getting to know. Uh, 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 <laughs> Is that an excuse? Uh, 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 uh. Is that one of the yes. excuses? <laughs> and you know, you start now, you actually now, because yeah. think about it, like even like in just the YouTube community in general, mm -hmm. uh, how many people are there? For fitness doing? or like... like no, just like sport, sport management sport and that, in that. I can't tell you because I've never looked, for, I've never seen. <laughs> so <laughs> even when we're doing this docu in Iten, the, there's this guy who was like, he's a podcaster from UK. And apparently he's interviewed like the, all the long distance runners for like over 15 to 20 years. All the Kenyan runners? No, worldwide. Oh, worldwide. Worldwide. Okay. Any okay. person that you can think of, he's done an I interview with I think I know them. who you're talking about. What's his name? I don't know his name, but he was, he it's also some guy talked from for UK, Kipchoge's right? one also and he got to interview. Yes. Yeah, I know who you're talking That's about. That's the guy. He's obsessed with athletics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, was yeah, in, yeah. he was in Eton. Okay, cool. Yeah. And so, he's young, he's not like a young. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. So I was just thinking yeah, like, know you know, he already has like a very, very unique lane. And he was just talking about like, you know, I've talked to this and this person. And I'm like, these people are in my country. And I never did I've never it. done it. But you see, he, he's passionate about athletics. Yeah. Which was able for him to get the niche for him, mm. you know. For me, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. no, no, no. But if you're studying it, I think right now, if you just make it, it's part of you already. Yeah, it's already part of my life. Yes, yeah, you true, do true, all true. these other things. And I'm just imagine, even the way you're saying, like, you know, SA is so specialized in whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, if you start doing the videos, man, and SA identifies talent. Yeah. Like, that's very true. Maybe like if, uh, it's very sad, sad to say, yeah. <laughs> but in my opinion, in terms of my growth, in terms of like my YouTube and my Instagram, yeah, SA show me more love, bro. <laughs> there you SA go. SA has shown me more yes. love. Yes, yeah. it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So you can't like deny something I think that's already in motion. Brands here jifanya a lot. Yeah. Ah, come on. <laughs> did you hear when? Did you hear like my? podcast episode with and and our sportswear um no okay well, what 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 what, what did the you part speak of about? like when she was trying to like start off the company try to get funds and everything knocking mm -hmm. knocking on these doors and, and saying people like you know uh i'm trying to come up with this mm -hmm. can you guys help us a b c and d nobody is keen because it's kenyan made and, or what and she was just like yo i mean i have to go and get people from, from abroad japan mm -hmm. Germany, the States. To take me seriously. And all these other people like who are really willing, like they just hear your idea, they're like, ah, okay, so let's do this. Let's do this. And they are ready to to just come in with like yeah. like what can we do to make this project yeah. go off? Because they can see the they can see far. They are they they're can seeing, see the the further, yeah. seeing the future. Seeing the future. Keep choge. <laughs> we did you have to take a billionaire somewhere? Yeah. Outside, like in Europe, to actually see what this guy His can do, and could be. and he had been telling us that he can do it. It's not like he yeah, not everybody like he else from saying, Kenya yeah. jumped in like after he's just after when he's Idiot. doing the race. Everyone is just like, yeah. hey, 
bra, I'm guilty. Beer brands, there Nini. Was me there. Ah, come on. Sijui Milan was giving alcohol for Sijui 1.5. Yes, 1.59. 1.59. One <laughs> one Everything was 1.59. 1.59. Wow. Boaties no were at 1.59. 1.59. One one of nine. those no human is limited ah, people. <laughs> no, but that's it. It just, yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's why like even for the podcast, I try and focus on, I don't want to go to all those mainstream people who are mm. always talking about like everything that's already there yeah. plus they give out fake information anyway because yeah. they have to keep up a Without facade the first, if they've yeah, already yeah, 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 yeah. but people who are still building they'll tell you they'll share we all their hardship to lose. no <laughs> no they will share they will yeah. share they won't lie to you they'll tell yeah, you and yeah, it's yeah, hard yeah, here yeah, yeah. this is how it is but people will connect to that because somebody else is like oh okay even me i'm just starting off my mini mm. that's why i stopped posting Okay, this is giving me motivation to yeah, start doing or pursuing this. That's my main aim in life. I just yeah. want to add value to others. Mm, that's mm. just my aim. I just don't want to be useless. <laughs> I, I don't want to have just been here and done nothing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Impact. Just yeah. impact, man. Yeah. It's Once tricky. I said I was here, you know, I want to... Oh yeah. I want people to know I was here. Oh yeah. <laughs> so plans, plans for just for the rest of the year, what are you thinking? Oh, okay. Because I'm saying we are almost, we're okay. not almost out of time, but no, we're good. We're so Gucci. Soon. We are Gucci with time. Gucci. At least if we hit the one, uh, as my friend, at, at least if we hit that one hour mark. I hope that's his wife. <laughs> Don't say that on camera. <laughs> nobody knows who it is. Okay. They haven't seen him. So. Touché, touché, yeah, touché. nobody knows. Because now they'll be like, oh, shit, <laughs> who is it? Yeah. Who is it? <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> Um, some politician. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's some politician. Really? Guys. Is it for real? Because I was hey, being sarcastic. He is some politician. Doesn't he look like a politician? He, he does. Yeah. But I know oh, politicians nini. who don't dress like that. So <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The malls are the safest <laughs> place. I, I think. I think it's his wife. She looks like his wife. Yeah. She, they look like they've come for breakfast. <laughs> Morning after, okay. So you were asking So uh, yeah, me, what were you saying? Um, what are my plans for this year? Yeah, what are the I want to do a personal training course. Actually, as soon as I get back, mm -hmm. I want to apply for it. Yeah. Actually, just register. I don't think I need to apply mm -hmm. because I'm already studying sport management. Yeah, and start training people. I, I apply think for you're, a job. You're, yeah. you're at a very good position. Just keep doing everything that evolves around what you're doing every single day that is the aim mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. anything else ah, and oh yes i want to travel more mm. definitely travel more and do more natural hair events because natural hair is actually what made me be known more really yeah yeah if you if you scroll down on my instagram i started off that's not what i was hair. paying attention yeah because kind of like for me i see makeup and here I'm like bullshit. Now, I don't want to see this. Now for me, but it was It's not about styling hair and all that. No, I'm not that. saying it in a yeah. bad way. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I took I'm it. I'm just saying. I took no, it no, no, no. Don't, don't get it. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying. Like I'm always trying to look for yeah, yeah, what's yeah, yeah. slightly different. Trust what's me. What's slightly different. Trust me. Even me, I try to avoid telling people that I talk about hair also, because yeah. it, it it makes people like. I'm, I don't want to say close their mind, but close yeah. their mind a bit about mm -hmm. me. Is it a big thing? Because like I do see everybody just talking natural hair. Me natural now, hair. for me, it was a very, very big impact for me because my whole life I, I, I used to have relaxed hair. Ah. And yeah, and ever since I went natural, mm -hmm. and I keep telling everyone this, I've only been natural for three years now. Mm -hmm. And my hair is longer than it's ever been in my whole life. And well, that's okay. simply because of now it being healthy, being well taken care of, not hey, putting I can, chemicals. I can, I can, I can all relate to that, guys. Exactly. Hey, hey. Exactly. Look how beautiful <laughs> your hair is. You know how amazing it is to have a braid that's mm. the same um, fatness, the same width mm. from top to bottom. It is. Like you're doing so really? good. Really? You're doing. Because you know, very, every very time great. I go to the salon, like you should see these women when they're, they're watching like, me. Wow. And it's so healthy. Yeah, I'm like, oh. it's. Healthy. His braid, my hair, I just want to His hair be is extremely healthy. Like the, the thickness of the strands is like oh. immaculate, guys. It's bomb. Yeah, so it's bomb. Those girls are always showing off natural hair, natural hair. <laughs> You've had it? <laughs> he has a protective thank you, though. style. Thank Do you, you thank know? you. That thank this you. is a protective style. What's that? <laughs> What's that? A protective style yeah. is when you tuck away your ends mm -hmm. to avoid manipulation. And so when you put your hair like this in a mm. braid, you, you don't manipulate it for like, what, three, four weeks? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's a protective style. Oh. You're not manipulating it. That's See, why it's I, growing. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't you're, know that. You're welcome. 
Okay, I'll go cut this off and <laughs> take it to my hairdresser like <laughs> in make to me kwa WhatsApp. Usiwai sa how can you remember you have eh? Lock method. <laughs> lock. <laughs> oh man. I mean lock this method. just think about how this podcast has been and that's you see this is always what I'm always going for. Mm-hmm. And even when you're telling me asking me like yo what are we going to talk about? I'm always like just Let, just go with Cause you guys I thought I was boring guys but now I'm I'm seeing uh, maybe um, there's more to me. We've clocked one hour. <laughs> Did you think we'd last no, this? No, actually it's gone so much faster than I expected. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so And everything we talked fun. about. And it's fun. I'm uh, having so much fun. Has it motivated you to try and go and do something like, you know, like a podcast actually, or what? Maybe or even just podcast, talk, even yeah, a talk maybe video podcast, something. But definitely go sit and talk. Mm-hmm. Can definitely I see that I have things to say. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And if you come back let's yeah. do like a part 2 or something. Oh, definitely. Because uh, that's what I want to do like even just mm-hmm. for my podcast. Somebody who came through and they want to come back we do like a follow up video. And maybe I can see if that. I've evolved and done all the Egg things I just that told you talked you about. I'm gonna do, yeah. Mm. Maybe I'm going to do them. Aye. Yeah. Let's pray, pray for me to get that job cuz Listen, it's, you'll get it. Yeah. It's not I don't <laughs> Okay, yes. Well, let's see. You I don't wanted pray. I wanted to say yeah. like we, I don't have to pray but I'm like hey no let me Let's pray for it, man. But you're going to say I'm not religious. Ah, no, 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 no. Of course I'm religious. Okay, you have yeah. to believe, man. Yeah, I'm, okay, I'm don't very have spiritual, to. but I'm not religious. Because I, I always find difference. myself when I'm in shit. I'm like, oh God, oh God. I know I'm a believer. So I, mean, so I, 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 I see that as spirituality. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I see religion as just a barrier to just yeah, break yeah. people apart. Because yeah. you see everybody. Because once you start having that discussion... And it's so tricky because I remember. Separate. Yeah, because it now like breaks people apart. Because like, oh, you're right, I'm wrong. Yeah. No. You don't realize that the real, real in depth. If you look deep, we're literally yeah. all saying the same thing. It is the yeah. same thing. <laughs> you just all, don't want to get yeah. to that part where people are like, yeah, you need to. That's why religion kind of gets a bit tricky when me, you're discussing, yeah, right? Exactly. But when it comes to spirituality, when you say like every every day, I know there's something, some somewhere guiding me and mm. making sure what I do is. The right, the right wheel, thing, yeah. the right thing, right? Yes. So, yes, yes, yes. one last question. Go on. As we su- as we wrap this up, eh? I normally ask people this at the end of the podcast. Mm-hmm. What's that one thing that you think you're in pursuit of right now? And if you got it, it would give like your life better meaning, direction, fulfillment or something of the sort. Oh my goodness. You said we have how long? <laughs> I have a couple of minutes. Yeah, <laughs> that's a long ass question, man. <laughs> That's a that's a that's deep, bro. Yeah. Oh, so ask yeah. again. <laughs> What's that one thing? It's not like I'll forget. What's that one thing that you think you're in pursuit of right now? Maybe later it will be something different, but okay. right now, what's that one thing you think you're chasing? That it will give your life a better meaning, direction. Oh, we haven't even talked about rela- are you in a relationship? Uh, no, I'm no, I'm not, and I'm not looking for one. I think oh, come relationships on. are distraction. Really? Yeah, from my end goal. When was the last time you had a boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like three years ago, or like three, three and a half years ago, yeah. Hey guys, listen. <laughs> First of all, a lot of guys need like sport management <laughs> in Kenya. Slide in that DM, man. Hey, three years. Okay, come not like a rejection. Slide three away. Three years. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, My it's choice. not something that's okay. It's not something that you're prioritizing yeah, on. You just want to focus on yeah, your goals. Yeah, I'm literally not looking. Like I honestly, honestly think that it would be a distraction. I believe that when you're in a relationship. You can't just think f- for yourself. Mm. You have to think. It's only fair that you think of, of the other of person. Of your partner as well. Yeah, and I just don't have time for that right now. Wow. Straight up. Hey, listen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we've got to do what we've got to do <laughs> to get to yeah. where we want to I'm get. I'm trying to get a first class honors, and to get that, I need to be getting my all distinctions, you know. Yeah. So you know, you have to focus. Can't be getting distracted, and in the sports industry, you're seeing I have to also be playing a sport, so I have academic and physical as well. Yeah. Gym also takes up a lot of my time. You and need to get your yeah. your mind has to be like at exactly. one specific place. Exactly. Okay. So yeah. yeah, what was your answer <laughs> though? At least we've touched on that. So yeah. people won't say like, yo, you skipped on the love so part. Yeah. yeah. And then you see it was even short. Like yeah. what what is yeah. <laughs> what yeah. is there to talk about? But the guys ask you out. Oh definitely. Oh wow. come and on, look at you me. Just come come on. Them. Hey, <laughs> hey, listen, listen. <laughs> So you just curve them? How do you yeah, I'm how a do very you, nice person, you know, I'm a very political reject? if somebody likes you? and they're mm-hmm. actually trying to like ask you out how do you like just carve them like and no, be polite no let them know if they're an amazing person if they're cool i let them know that mm-hmm. obviously there's no harm in letting someone know something good about them yeah. but i also make it clear like exactly what i've just told you i'm just honest mm. just there's not, just not yeah, looking for anything I'm literally right now. yeah unless you want to chill and like we can have some fun but eh 
Hey, okay, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, oh that, is that what you mean, Netflix and chill or no? <laughs> Hi, mom. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> I mean, we're just but talking yeah. about chilling yeah, yeah, yeah. and relaxing. But you know, you yeah. get me, you get me. I just mean yeah. like, yeah. You just um, wanna, we don't want it to yeah, be complicated. Yeah, we will never be in a serious relationship right now. Okay. Unless, but it's not like I push people away. Yeah? You can stay in you my just life. just do it in a polite way. Like, yeah. uh, this is just not what yeah, I'm looking for. Yeah, if you're willing for. to stay in my life, stay. Because maybe four years from now when I'm done, who knows? Yeah, you might maybe be Maybe now I'll have to time for you, yeah. You okay. don't know. Yeah, but right now. And anybody who truly cares for you will understand when, yeah. they, when you tell them that. Oh, true, true. Yeah. Okay, the answer. I need that <laughs> answer before we finish up. We okay. are actually on time. We're okay. On time. So one thing that I like telling myself or telling other people yeah. that I'm trying to do is find myself. So yeah, if I was actually ever to get a tattoo, that would be what I tattoo. Find yourself. Mm -hmm. So to answer your question, if once I find myself, <laughs> yeah. Oh. I'll feel like my life is complete. Yeah. But by find myself, I just mean. That purpose, that thing, mm. once I find it, once I'm doing it, mm -hmm. then that's when I'll feel like I'm complete. Maybe it means starting my own academy, yeah, starting yeah. my own agency, something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I just know You're that trying to figure it there's out. something that's going to make me know, like, hey, hapo mefika. Okay. That's what I'm trying to Fair find. enough. That's Fair my enough. answer for you, yeah. Fair enough. So <laughs> I feel like it was it, still so vague. No, 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 but yeah. it, but that's where you are. That's yes, your mind frame. We shouldn't force it to be to share, somewhere. Yeah, to share, exactly. To share, to share, to share. Just like that relationship you're not looking for. You can't force yeah. anything that like until your mind is there, you just have to go yeah. with where your we'll mind, just be wasting mind frame time. is. Exactly. So is there anything else you wanna plug on the podcast and like anything else you have Can going I say on? Like four things. Yes, please. Okay, so the first thing is I want to shout out how good of an interviewer you are. What? Yeah, that was really nice. Like the flow was really, really dope. Yeah. You should watch. I don't know. On it's on YouTube, Hot Ones or something. I do, Sean Evans. He's really good, yeah, and yeah. you kind of remind me of him. Really? Yeah. The like second person like who really, said really that. Good. Yeah. Okay. Cool. What? Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That means I'm improving. That means I'm improving. Because <laughs> when yeah. I'm starting off, I was like. Am I going to hack this thing? Yeah, you're really good at it. You made ah, me you. very comfortable. And for me, like, yeah. I'm a very anxious human being. Yeah, but so, you yeah. were relaxed the whole yeah, time you and everything. Yeah, you did a good job, man. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. My appreciate it. My appreciate pleasure. It. Thank you. Next thing I'm going to plug is yeah. my latest vlog just came out this morning at yeah. 9 a.m. So mm -hmm. please do check it out. Pickle Talks on YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's a Muddy Princess vlog, which was a five kilometer fun run that mm -hmm. I volunteered for. Mm -hmm. You guys check it out. It's really, really funny. You guys are going to see me rolling in mud. <laughs> it's Please check it out. Check I'll it out. I'll post the link down yeah, below. I'll please sure do. Mm -hmm. Please do. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. And yeah, also. If you're looking for bags, handbags or anything, mm -hmm. <laughs> my brother and Tori, they sell Tori K March on mm -hmm. Instagram, mm -hmm. at Tori K March. Beautiful, beautiful bag, bags, um, handbags, wallets, duffel bags for guys as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, do check that out as mm -hmm. well. I don't have anything else to plug. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you done? Oh my word. Anything else, don't forget. Oh my goodness. Hey. Guys, there's hey. pressure, bruh. Hey, anything it's else? It's my you're birthday plugged. tomorrow, by the way. It is? <laughs> yes, yes. Really? Yeah. Okay, won't say which month we're in, but just know her birthday is tomorrow. Yeah, so guys, just also wish me good, good. Well, happy birthday yeah. in advance. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So when you're watching this, wish me good vibes. How do you celebrate your birthday? Year. I actually celebrated on Sunday at Milan. Ah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Oh, you already saw oh, those two yeah, yeah, yeah. because yeah. everyone is available Weekend, before everybody exactly. dispersed. Yeah, but then I'm thinking of going to Sheldrick's orphanage. The oh, the uh, elephant. Yeah, the giraffe yeah. center okay. as well. That's yeah. cool as well. Yeah. So, I mean, I can't <laughs> thank you enough because, <laughs> I mean, I called you out, came through, and i mean the conversation has been very interesting i didn't even know about the sports part but you see everything has just come to place the, exactly the way i was expecting Later god sent ah, god sent and even <laughs> all the things that we're talking about just brings connection here and there here and there yeah. without even forcing anything so i really appreciate and even respect what you're doing just thank keep you being yourself much. and i mean let's recoup after a couple of months thank you thank you and right? to share it, uh, no ditto yeah <laughs> I meant ditto. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, guys, you know the drill. Uh, it's a Kiss Capades podcast on all social platforms Spotify, iTunes, Castbox. Uh, we're not on SoundCloud anymore. 
uh, where else? YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Kiss Capades Podcast. Follow me. Make sure you follow her. What's your Instagram? Underscore Afro Pickles underscore. Uh huh. A YouTube? Pickle Talks. No S on the pickle, yeah. S on the talks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and Twitter, mm-hmm. <laughs> cool underscore pickles. Perfect. So, guys, yeah. make sure you just go like, subscribe. If you have anything that you know you want to give an opinion on, please leave a comment. Like the videos, subscribe. That's the best way you can show some support and love. And, you know, keep listening, keep watching. It's the Kiss Capit podcast. Goodbye.